How to restore a PostgreSQL database with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Ansible restore a PostgreSQL database. Let's talk about the Ansible module PostgreSQL underscore DB. The full name is community.postgresql.postgresql underscore db, which means that it's part of a collection of module community.postgresql maintained by the Ansible community to interact with PostgreSQL database. The collection is tested with Ansible Core version 2.11 and measure. Prior versions such as 2.9 and 2.10 are not supported. The purpose of the model is to add or remove PostgreSQL databases from a remote host, but it can also handle backup and restore operation. Parameters Let me summarize the main parameters of the module PostgreSQL underscore db. Let me remem remind you that Ansible supposes that uh, PostgreSQL is running in the target node. The only required parameter is name, the name of the database to interact with. The parameter state specify the desired state or the operation for the selected database. The option present means that the database should be created and the option absent that the database should be deleted. Other useful operations are dump and restore, which use pg underscore dump underneath the embedded PostgreSQL utility to backup and restore to, the, to a target file. So another parameter is the target parameter. Another useful operation is also rename from name to target, but is not our use case today. This module will use PsychoPG2, a Python Postgres database library. You must ensure that Python 3 PsychoPG2 is uh, installed on the host before using the module. Demo time. Let's jump into a real-life Ansible playbook to restore a PostgreSQL database. I'm going to show you how to restore a backup file stored under slash backups slash testdb.gz Yes, it's a gzip compressed file in the testdb database in the current PostgreSQL server. Are you excited? Let's move it on! Welcome on my editor, I'm going to show you one Ansible playbook to restore a PostgreSQL database. First of all, let's begin our YAML document with free dash and a play name PostgreSQL demo. This code is going to be executed on host all of my inventory and need to be run as root, so let me set also become to true. Let me define some custom variable for example, db underscore name, this is the name of a database where I'm going to restore the data inside and the backup directory where I'm going to read the backup file. So in my case, under slash backups of my Linux target machine. First of all, we need to verify that the uh, utility, the Python library, is currently installed on the target system. Otherwise, the module will fail. So first of all, let me use ansible.builtin.package using package name python 3 psycho pg 2 uh, The state must be present, so we need this module currently installed. OK. Second operation is also to verify that the uh, directory and the backup are present. Let me verify that the backup is present. The best solution will be also to verify the file, but I don't want to overcomplicate this example. So let's verify only the directory. 
with uh, Ansible built-in file, the path of the uh, backup directory mode should be 0777, the owner of the file should be the Postgres user, in my case is Postgres, and this is common to a lot of Linux distribution. This state must be directory, and that's it. So basically we verify the utility is present, the backup is present, and now we are ready for the restore operation using community postgres dot postgres underscore db. Okay, some parameters are needed here. So first of all, the state, so the type of operation, we need a restore operation. Uh, what else? Uh, name of the database, let me specify the value of the database. Oh, no, it's not backup, there is uh, db underscore name. Here we go. Okay, we specify the type of operation, uh, the, dat the database, but we miss the input file. Under the target parameter, we specify the file name. In my case, under backup underscore dir slash dbname.gzip. Customize this file with your need. Uh, all this code must be run by another user, specifically we need the user Postgres. So we need to use the become method with the become user Postgres. Uh, yes, that's it. So basically we are going to tell Ansible to execute a restore operation on the target Postgres database using a backup file stored on the target machine file system. Basically, that's it. Now we are ready to have fun. Welcome to my demo machine. Let me connect via SSH DevOps at demoexample.com. This machine is already running a PostgreSQL, so now let me switch to root user as well as Postgres database administrator user. So su dash to preserve the home directory Postgres. I'm able to run the PSQL utility, this command line interacts directly with the DBMS and list all the available databases. In my case, I would like to verify that testdb is present, and it is. So what's inside the, the testdb? Well, we need to connect with PSQL and testdb as a parameter. So using backslash dt is going to list the data type and any relationship inside the database. And there isn't any. So great, this is a perfect empty database. And inside this database, we are going to restore a backup file. So let me disconnect from PSQL and take a look on the backup that I have stored under the backups directory. Here I have a file called testdb as you can see from the file command is a gzip compressed data. Great. Oh, let me take a look with that the cut. Oh, great. This is an output from the pg underscore dump Postgres database dump utility. As you can see, this is a pretty simple design. It's only handling some uh, basic things. Then he created a table called example with a variable called message that is a simple charter of 255 uh, charter and there is also some data some example data written ansible managed okay cool it looks like that is going to create this table and populate with a simple message okay now let me execute everything automatically with ansible so ansible dash playbook First parameter is dash e the inventory and then the db underscore restore playbook. The execution is going to be super smooth, super fast. It only actually trigger the remote host to execute the restore. Also, the data is very, very low. So we got a change of status, which means some operation were performed on the target machine. What happened if we execute again the same code? Well, we are triggering another restore of the database and because my backup doesn't have uh, any drop of table, we are expecting to add another line 
into the target database. Let me connect again to the target machine via SSH and take a look using the PSQL under the Postgres user. So PSQL testdb this time backslash dt will list one table called example. Yay! And what happens if we execute select Oh, let me capitalize select star from example. Ooh, we have two rows exactly with Ansible managed command. Yay, it looks like that Ansible completely automated the restore operation on a PostgreSQL database. Can you see? It's super simple. Now you have no excuse to automate your backup and restore operation with Ansible and you can extend more and more this code as needed. Now you know how to automate the restore or the backup in a PostgreSQL database with Ansible. Thank you for watching, I hope this lesson was useful for you and now you could automate more of your journey. See us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!